Great. Yeah. What, what year did you release uh, um, Wish That I Could Hurt That Wig? 86. 86? Was it that early? Yeah. I remember standing in the rain under the carport, and I had the radio blaring. That's one and my, of my mind was on song. something that I can't remember what it was, but my mind was on something kind of dark. That was on, I was a little upset one that day. Of my favorite song. And they you know said, "Here's song. a brand new song." And 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 I heard I, I heard that, and I turned it up, and I was watching the rain from the carport, and I heard you belt that out. And I, it's you, you don't hear singers like that do that very often. Well, thank you, man. You know that's such a great song. Uh, Don Cook and Curly Putman and Rafe Van Hoy wrote that song. They told me they were on the way to a party in a station wagon and wrote it. And when I cut it, it had been cut 22 times and nobody would ever put it out. So it was just kind of there for me, man. Yeah, that was your baby. Yeah, just about everybody in town had cut it. It's what they told me. And I looked up and got the single on it and it was a big hit. Yeah, yeah, it was. And people still love to hear it. Man, it's one of my very favorite songs to sing of all time. I mean, it's really, really neat. I can't, I can't imagine anybody else singing that song. Well, I can't imagine. That would be like somebody else singing Love Me Tender. Well, you, know, you, you, you can't figure that one out. But I, I can't imagine anybody else singing that. Well, you made, my, good stuff. you made my year, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> You've that. made my life, I said. We interrupt this meeting of the T. Graham Brown fan club. Yeah, yeah, <laughs>